debate over health department ordered mask mandates continues to be a big one for Ohioans. An Ashland County restaurant owner is celebrating tonight after a judge upheld her decision to go maskless inside her business. News 5's Jay Jarvis with this story and what it could mean now for other businesses. What's our rule today? Mask or no mask? It's your choice what you want to do. At Kettleman's restaurant in Savannah. Anything on it? Some customers are wearing masks. You said lettuce, tomato, and mayo. But you'll notice that owner Mandy Close. What may I get you ladies to drink? Isn't. Medically, I can't wear one. What are you in the mood for? And she makes sure all of her customers know that before they come in with these signs posted all over the front door. She says those signs tipped off the Ashland County Health Department last July, which served her a cease and desist order and revoked her food service license for violating the Dine Safe Ohio order issued by former Ohio Director of Health Amy Acton. Because I was not wearing a mask. Close's attorney filed a lawsuit against ACHD seeking a permanent injunction against their orders. Are you having spaghetti, sir? During a bench trial in September, ACHD agreed to stop all action against cattlemen's. And yesterday, an Ashland County judge dismissed the case because of that. I'm very pleased with the outcome, as you could tell. <laughs> in his ruling, the judge says Ohio law doesn't allow mandatory mask orders since there is no stated or implied authority which authorizes any action to prevent the spread of contagious or infectious disease and that ODH only has ultimate authority in matters of quarantine and isolation. The uh, law gives health departments. Case Western Reserve University law professor Sharona Hoffman disagrees with that ruling and says local health departments are empowered by law to issue orders. And that's their job. That's what we pay taxes for in order to be protected. And so there's 10. If an establishment does not comply with those orders, I think that's a violation of law on their part. Some salt and pepper. And she says just because this was the outcome for cattlemen's doesn't mean it's guaranteed to happen elsewhere. This is not the only challenge of its kind. Some have been upheld, some have been reversed. But just because a judge in one location decides something, it's not the Supreme Court. It's not binding on most other jurisdictions. Lettuce, onion, and ketchup, mayo. As for close, even though the case was technically dismissed, the shares. she's counting it as a win. Regardless on where you stand on the mask issue or the ma mask mandate, this is a big win for small businesses in Ohio. We reached out to the Ashland County Health Department for a statement. They told us they don't have the staff on board to do so. The health commissioner who issued that order against Cattlemen's last year was terminated in November. In Ashland County, Jay Jarvis, News 5.